Hello YouTube Vintage Stair Restores. Here's just a very short video about a minor problem that comes up sometimes on amplifiers and other things that are powered by transformers. You can see there's the power transformer there. This one here had, when it was running, the unit was vibrating at 60 Hertz. There's a and 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 actually in the last video I did, you can't really hear it. The microphone on this camera doesn't pick up frequencies that low very well. But I was doing some testing around this and I thought, well, there's two reasons that a transformer vibrates. One is that it's overloaded and number two is that there's something mechanically not right. So what I did, fairly simple test, I just unloaded these two caps here which are actually like the main filter caps, thinking they might be loading it too much, because you never know. Turn it on, it was still on me. You see it's a fairly tight fit in there. It wasn't really up against anything. Um, then I disconnect on the other side, the power transformer from everything. And it's still, you turn it on, it just sort of went And it was a mechanical vibration. And a very simple fix. See here, it was actually there's screws through speed clips. Now this is interesting because I looked at pictures of the one I restored one of these in 2018, and it had nuts and bolts. I'm like, well, isn't that interesting? I don't know why it has speed clips, but the problem with the speed clips is something this heavy, it doesn't secure it well, and they loosen up. And I'll give you an example. Last night I tightened it up, well, early in the evening, and it stopped humming. But then I had it on, I was probing, looking for voltages, kind of getting an idea what I'm going to work on, and it started humming again, like, what? Just twisting the chassis a bit. So then I thought, oh, I know what it is. See, there's four through bolts that basically hold, here's the, the, iron core and then you have these two end caps this is a series of, of plates put together and every one of them was loose like seriously loose like finger tight at best so I tighten everything up and just like it originally had you wonder why are those little dots of paint on there because these originally had that it was an inspection thing so if they're there and the things in the nice shape I put them back um, just with some white nail polish. It kind of is a nice touch. And then I just used, I don't know if we can get this close enough, but just some new nuts and bolts with a lock washer underneath. So the screw comes through from underneath. Got it nice and tight so the core is tight, the caps are tight. That's tight. And now when you turn it on, I don't think, I'm just going to turn it on silent operation so that's one problem solved and this is the thing about working on vintage gears like if you've ever restored a vintage car or anything like that there's a series of things that happen over the years little things you get a vintage car well the windshield wipers don't work on the third speed the clock doesn't work the transmission slips the rear end is leaking oil you know there's all these little things you got to work on to get it into top shape well, it's kind of like this with these stereos. But that's one that comes up once in a while. There's also another way that it comes up. You actually can have, you'll have the steel cover over it like this. And sometimes the magnetic resonance of it is so strong. When you turn it on, you'll hear a thump as the cover is attracted to it. And then there's vibration in the cover. And what I usually do, and you'll see these on, I had a pacemaker 2221B tube amp and it was notorious for that. I was sitting there on the shelf humming and the cover was humming. <laughs> so what I did is I cut a piece, you know that felt you put under furniture or you can use the thick foam, stick a piece on there just enough to keep the cover, you know, just muted. Sometimes you have to put a piece of felt under this edge to keep the cover from vibrating. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening.